Now punch without a footwork. Throw your left hook. Your left hook right here. Do not bend your fist. It's, it's the same movement. Rotate your shoulder. Okay. Did you land? And again. And now try to throw a vertical hook. Can you land? Okay. Did you land? My punch is blocked. Yes, my hand is on the way. Try again. Okay. And now the horizontal hook. Did you land? I did. Because you have this curvature in your arm. And when you throw the vertical hook from the long distance, your arm is straight. When you throw the vertical hook at the close distance, it will land. But when your opponent is far, it's a problem. Say I want to punch you. You have lifted your glove just a little and I cannot land. But when you throw the horizontal hook, your shoulder will allow your fist to go around the block. Lift your hand higher. Lift your hand high so everybody can see. Did you film it? Now I will corkscrew my shoulder and it lands land alright. So the vertical hook is being stopped, the horizontal hook passes the block. It's like a gun with a curved blade, barrel. Now I realize why it's called a hook. Of course, your shoulder rotation does a trick. Got it? Well done. And do not forget about your boxing stance, by the way. You guys, you guys saw it with your own eyes. Oh. I'll just a second, just a second. You guys saw it with your own eyes. The classic horizontal hook goes around the block. The vertical hook was stopped by the block. And also another thing is what you, you need a swing for the vertical hook. And you get toe punch. While when you throw the horizontal hook, the shoulder movement is all you need. Your fist gets the acceleration from the shoulder rotation. And the distance is regulated by the elbow extension. Your brain will calculate automatically. So the good boxing stance and the horizontal hook is what I would recommend.